Thank you very much, Sergey. Uh, so I would like to thank the organizers for inviting me to give <coughs> a lecture course in this uh, school. So let me, uh, so first of all, let me briefly review the plan of my lecture. So in the first two lectures, I will uh, review the notion of WRT invariant and also uh, some general notions of TQTs and how WRT invariant, briefly mention how WRT invariant can be as a TQFT. And uh, so the, the last two lectures will be uh, more about, about more recent developments. So in the third lecture, I will explain what kind of analytically continued chern Simons theory, which uh, can be understood as kind of a mathematical approach to try to formalize the path integral, and uh, which is mostly was developed by Kantsevich and Witten. And in the last lecture, I will mention the so-called BPS invariance of three manifolds, which has close intimate relation with WRT invariants, but they have a nice property that they expected to be some integrality properties, so they expected to be uh, to have a categorification. Okay, so let me uh, first start with some uh, general motivation. Uh, behind the uh, behind the story. So first of all, uh, there is a close, very close relation between links and uh, three manifolds, which is uh, given in terms of surgery, which I will explain in detail uh, what this procedure is. And uh, so in particular, this leads to uh, also a close relation between invariants of links and three manifolds. So let me uh, give you some table of examples of invariants of links and, and the uh, three manifold counterparts. So the left hand side will be invariants of links and the right hand side will be invariants of three manifolds. So first, uh, you probably already seen the invariant, which is uh, Alexander polynomial, and the uh, the counterpart of of uh, the, the corresponding three manifold invariant is known as uh, derived torsion. So in particular, if three manifold is obtained by surgery, one can express. Uh, the derived torsion using Alexander polynomial. And uh, then there is a, uh, well, to be precise, it's a colored, colored Jones polynomial, which you also already see in Jake Rasmussen lectures. And the corresponding invariant of three manifold is uh, WRT invariant. So to be precise, this is invariant constructed uh, for uh, quantum SL2 group. And uh, actually, uh, in this kind of more general setting, uh, the derived torsion can be understood as a WRT invariant for quantum uh, SL1 slash 1 supergroup. And then we know that there is a, uh, so there is a categorification of Alexander polynomial, which is uh, not Floyd homology, uh, which was already also mentioned. And the categorization of Jones polynomial is uh, Havana homology, or more generally, Havana Razansky. And uh, so here, we actually know, in the, in the case of not-flare homology, we know that there is a, a counterpart invariant for three manifolds, which is, uh, so just for example, this was uh, also already mentioned, this is either, called either zabrig witten or equivalently Higart 
floor homology. Same manifold. But here it's not the big question what actually we have here. And so part of this uh, uh, BPS environments is uh, aimed, kind of the very environments are aimed to, to fill this gap. And uh, also, one can actually also continue table in this direction. So here is zeros links, three manifolds. And uh, I'm going to also actually relate to some invariance of four manifolds. So in particular, if we uh, understand this, this uh, kind of uh, homology, uh, homological environments as a vector space assigned by TQFT functor uh, to a four-dimensional TQFT functor to a three-manifold, then there should be some corresponding numerical invariants of four-manifolds. And here, these are the Berkeley invariants. And again, it's not clear what should be a counterpart uh, in the lower line. Okay, so this is um, just general motivation, and now I will proceed to more concrete things, but are there any questions about this part? Okay. Uh, so now I want to describe in, uh, in some detail what is a dense surgery. Uh, so this can be this operation which uh, I take uh, a framed link and from framed link in uh, so suppose in S3 but this can, can actually be done in, in any three manifold I construct oriented closed Manifold. And uh, so usually we want to consider links up to uh, ambient isotopy and three manifolds up to, uh, well, in three manifolds, we can, if we're in three dimensions, we can consider either up to homomorphism or diffeomorphism. In three dimensions, it doesn't actually matter. So let me uh, let me remi remind you what, I, what is the frame what is the frame link, and uh, and also fix uh, the notation, fix kind of conventions which I'll be using. So framing, what is framing? Uh, on a let me take, uh, so, so consider, uh, so let me, so L, I will denote by L some link, some frame linked, and uh, by the dense surgery, S3 of L, the result of the dense surgery. Uh, so let's, uh, so suppose this link has uh, uh, L disjoint components, for framing, so framing on a link component Li, so which is a embedded a circle, is a is a choice of a section uh, in a normal. bundle. So this is one way to understand this. So if I uh, suppose I have some node in a three, and uh, so essentially what I want to, to use, I want to, uh, so choice of uh, non-vanishing. It's important that it's non-vanishing. 
So at each point, I want to choose a vector uh, orthogonal to a knot, to this uh, knot, which is a component, a certain component of a link. And uh, so they are equivalent, they are kind of, uh, and we uh, usually want to consider this up to uh, kind of up to homotopy. So up to any continuous def deformations. And, uh, but there are other ways to kind of specify framing, more combinatorial. So in particular, so framings, uh, on a knot in uh, S3, they in one-to-one, -one, there's a canonical one-to-one -one correspondence with uh, integers. So in general, if you consider framing, so framing can be also understood as a trivialization, so as usual framing, uh, as a trivialization of the normal bundle. So the, the, the complete trivialization is given by just the second vector, uh, which gives me, uh, so, so that we give the second vector in the basis of, the, of the realization is I just pick it orthogonal to both uh, this red vector and the link component. So how does this one-to-one uh, -one correspondence work? So I take, uh, 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 so uh, this uh, number, so this map is given by, uh, uh, re 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 realized, uh, uh, so, so the, result, the result of this map, so is some n is, uh, uh, can be calculated as a linking number of, uh, on Li and uh, Li prime, where Li prime is a push off of Li towards uh, framing. Vector. So what does this mean? So this was my link component Li, and uh, so I can see the, a small shift of this uh, link component towards uh, towards the framing, and then I uh, and so then I have uh, two uh, uh, two uh, a, a link between Li and Li prime and calculate this, can calculate this linking number. And it's well defined, but uh, it's only well defined when the, uh, the, link, the, 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 the link component is in S3. Yeah, well, I can understand. I can understand like either S three or even R three. It doesn't really matter. So in other words, uh, one can understand, uh, so framing, fr framed, uh, so framed not, I can understand as uh, embedded ribbon. Sometimes uh, people consider just, uh, can understand this as a ribbon. So the ribbon is formed uh, by again, a small, you can send a small ribbon, which so one of the boundaries is Li and the other boundary is Li prime. And uh, 
Another remark is that uh, one can, so in a, in a node, diagram, uh, one uh, can uh, specify framing by what is called blackboard. Framing. Suppose the so blackboard framing means that I uh, uh, I can understand the essentially the uh, well not kind of line as uh, almost in in a, in a single plane and just a, just a little bit uh, with a little bit resolved crossings and then the framing everywhere is uh, goes is is a parallel to the uh, to the to the plane of the blackboard. And uh, so, uh, so in particular, if I, for example, if I if I draw a node something like this and assume the, this this, is, this has blackboard framing, I can equivalently understand as uh, just uh, I, I can alternatively specify this uh, by just drawing an, a node and uh, fixing this integral into integer n, which also specify my framing, and this, in this case, will be plus one. Okay, so in particular, so when we consider, uh, so if, 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 if you want to consider uh, framed links up to ambient isotopy, there is no longer, there, there will be no longer uh, the first Rademeister move. So this thing doesn't work. So instead, we only allow to do a modified Rademeister move. If you have something like this, then this we can replace uh, by, by just a straight stand. Okay. Questions? Uh, well, it uh, depends if you if you uh, have uh, so if you have, for example, orientation on the node, there is then there is a canonical choice. Well, if you, but in principle. Uh, well, there, 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 there is another choice, but it's uh, always uh, up to homotopy is the same because we always can rotate. At, at any point, we can rotate it by 180 degrees. Any other questions? So to summarize, to specify framing, either we just, uh, for each link component, we, we uh, specify an integer number, or in terms of plane diagram, we draw it in a certain way so that we, don't, uh, we are not allowed to do uh, this uh, first Rademeister move. And essentially, uh, yeah. So, roughly, so morally, this inter integer number is convinced how, how many times this framing vector winds uh, along the link component. Once we go around, uh, once we go around. <laughs> so 
So now I want uh, to describe a dense surgery, so L, so it will be a L component framed link. So suppose this looks something like this. Uh, In this case, there are two components, L1, L2, and uh, so by integers, the i are specifying my framings, and uh, so the dense surgery operation which uh, produces a, a, a rancid closed three manifold from this data can be understood in, uh, so it's easy to understand this in two steps. So first steps, step is uh, cut out uh, a tabular neighborhood uh, which I will denote by N L of L. So let me. So this means that uh, for each link component, I remove uh, a small solid torus which surrounds it. And uh, in particular, the boundary of this uh, tabular neighborhood is homeomorphic to, to a, to a uh, copy, uh, to the disjoint union of L copies of uh, two torus. And uh, uh, so let me specify a copy of two torus by index i. And then we can choose, uh, so in the, in the first homology of the stores, uh, uh, there is a basis, the particular basis uh, generated by uh, classes of two uh, curves, which are usually called uh, meridian. and longitude. So how do I, so what is the meridian? The meridian is, uh, is any curve which is uh, contractible. And to specify uh, the an another cycle, I, I need to use a framing. So the uh, so another cycle will be uh, so the longitude can be understood as a, as a push off as a push off of uh, this link component towards the towards the boundary of the tabular neighborhood uh, uh, in the direction specified by the framing. Doing all this. Okay, let me. So it will look something like this. And uh, so more formally, I can, so for each, at each point, I can, cons I can consider a ray in the direction specified by the framing vector and the intersection of this ray with the boundary of tabular neighborhood, which is the T2, is, is my uh, cycle Li. And uh, so actually, I also want to specify, so, uh, so essentially, I actually want to specify a ray orientation 
but uh, the final result of the surgery won't actually depend on the choice of orientation. So, but let me fix orientation, some orientation on each link component, and this orientation will determine the orientation of uh, my longitude and meridian. Again, from the definition of the framing, it follows uh, that, so the, the, for example, the linking number between the longitude and the link component itself is A2. And so the second step of the dent surgery, so we want to glue uh, so I take a disjoint union of L copies of uh, solid torus and glue it back in uh, using the following prescription. So, uh, so here I can, uh, so it, it, I have a standard, I can choose a standard Uh, longitude and meridian uh, so li will be uh, just s s s1 times uh, any point so it's, it's a boundary so the uh, so on, on the boundary So Li, the longitude will be uh, just uh, uh, S1 times any point of the boundary here of the disk, and the meridian will be any point on the circle times, uh, uh, sorry, in this, in this way, point times the boundary, and the meridian is uh, the boundary of a disk times point. So let me draw, so suppose I have this copy of solid torus, S1, so D2 times S1, with some standard. So I want here, to just, uh, this will be denoted as primes. Uh, so this will be Mi prime, and this will be Li prime. So the, the gluing should be uh, uh, used using the homeomorphism phi from one boundary to another boundary such that uh, it's pushed forward on homology axis follows. So mi is sent uh, so Mi uh, prime is sent to Li, and uh, Li prime is sent to minus Mi. So essentially what happens, the, uh, the, the, so when we glue back in, uh, the longitude and meridian, they uh, swapped around. So L2 uh, is identified with uh, M2 prime, and M2 is identified with uh, minus, sorry, yeah, minus L2 prime in this particular example. And uh, so we chose, of course, this, uh, and the, the statement, of course, is that if I choose any other uh, homeomorphism such that uh, it's uh, pushed forward and homology is like this, this gives me a, uh, uh, the, the, hom the result will be homeomorphic uh, three manifold. So finally, so one can write uh, so more explicitly, 
the result of the dense surgery on this frame link is a union of the complement with uh, of the complement of the tabular neighborhood with uh, the joint union of L copies of oscillators. And the union, the, the gluing is done using homomorphism phi, which satisfies this condition. Questions? Yes? Well, uh, I mean, of course, there is there is certain uh, there is certain freedom which uh, you can change a bit map phi, yes, so that give you the result will be the same. So in particular, of course, I, I can I can do a, a homeomorphism on this solid torus, which uh, will change my longitude, but it's not going to change meridian. Yes, is this uh, does this answer your question? Any other questions? Okay. So what is the, uh, let me give you some examples. So if I uh, if I make a dense surgery on a knot with uh, framing p again we specify framing by some integer, the result is a length space L p one. So my definition of length space is uh, that there's a quotient of S three mod z p, namely so the different quotient. So this quotient is uh, realized as follows. So if I understand uh, the sphere by the following equation on two complex variables z1 and z2, uh, then my equivalence relation is that the pair z1 and z2 is identified with, uh, with a pair where I, I rotate one of the variables by e to the 2 pi divided by p and the other variable by e to the minus 2 pi i. And uh, so another example, so consider 